we're going to look at steering axis inclination. To start off with, we need a tire. This will be a front tire. And we'll put a spindle in place first, so you get an idea. The tire is going to rotate on that spindle. And we'll put a steering knuckle that'll go straight up and down on the vertical. So the pivot points are straight up and down. Now, the SAI of this schematic would be zero. Now that is because there's, there's no uh, angle of the pivot points that you see in red there. So we'll look at the radius and we'll look a little closer on why this is zero SAI. And we put the, the uh, center line of the axis or the pivot points in the center line of the tire. The center line of the tire is at the true vertical. So the center line of the tire and the true vertical perpendicular to the Earth's surface is one of the same. Which that's supposed to be identical, meaning that line that I just drew and the line I'm going to put below it are equal. That would mean zero inclination in the axis of the steering. And the radiuses, as you see up that are in this picture, the radius, I mean, uh, the distance to the ground would all be the same. So the true vertical and the steering axis would be equal. Whether you turn left or you turn right, all those distances, one, two, and three, if they're four inches or eight inches, would be the same in the position of far left or far right or straight ahead. Now we're going to put an angle in our SAI. So we'll put our spindle in like before, but our steering knuckle will be at an angle. And that's going to result in a change in the radius effects. So we'll put our true vertical in and then our angle for the new inclination of the steering axis. Remember, it, it pivots on the top and it pivots on the bottom. So we now have an angle, on the top being toward the inner part of the vehicle more. So if we move that true vertical over and then compare or measure the angle, that's our SAI right there. And it's around probably 15 degrees in most vehicles. That changes our radius, and it changes the distance as we turn left and right of the distance from the edge of the radius as we turn to the ground. Well, this concept can be hard to understand because the edge of the, the, the end of the spindle is not going to really change its distance to the ground, so something else has to happen. So when we turn left or right, because uh, one equals two or the distance one equals two, the vehicle will have to raise to, to accommodate the different dimension. So when we turn left or turn right, the vehicle, the weight of the vehicle go up. And then when we straighten out again, it, the vehicle will go down. Now that pro or, uh, concept keeps our vehicle straight. So the SAI is largely um, stability angle. Distance number three when you turn will go into place of distance number two, which is shorter now at, in a straight ahead position. So distance number three will push up on the, the vehicle. And that's really one of the main purposes of SAI, to keep the vehicle going straight ahead and to have a, an effect of returning the steering wheel to the straight ahead position. 